Good afternoon. This is Kara Dreamer resuming her playthrough of Night in the Woods, still on Chapter 2. Good afternoon. Oh, this is God, Kara I keep fucking forgetting to fucking do Night that. Alright, that should sound normal now. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry about that. I uh, quickly answer a question here. Uh, okay. Let's see, what have I just done? Uh, don't. I remember what I'm supposed to be up to. Ugh. This seems like that's going around. Ugh. Ugh. Yepers. So, um, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. But we talked about it. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. Oh, again, huh? It'll be fine. We're we're cool. So we're having money problems. What? No, no, we're fine. Dad. May, hey, it's fine. It's okay. I'm twenty. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Mom here? No, oh, cat mom. I'm playing this in full screen right now, and there's a lot of tearing in the graphics, but uh, I figure that I'm, it's, I don't know how, how well that actually comes across in the stream. So you already been in there. Oh, wait, there's more clock. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge, and spooky, making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find... I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Damn, you really miss your granddad, May. Um, I, for what it's worth, uh, never had grandparents to miss. Uh, both my... Both of my... Um, both of my father's parents were dead before I was born. And, uh... Since my mother basically escaped from home uh, and left left her uh, family back behind in Chile, and never saw any of them again, I, I never met them either. So uh, yeah, no no extended family to worth worth speaking of, aside from some uh, uh, ne'er do well uh, uh, uncles who, who I barely saw. Messages? Oh, there's uh, a new message. Let's see here. I haven't clicked on you in a while. You do anything? Bright Harbor Post is Autumn secretly killing you today on Six Sad World. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Oh, yeah, right. I've got three places to visit. Uh, or, yeah. I don't know. Th thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, well, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome. And also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. Falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... Eh, it's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but they did big renovations. 
Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool or you died or something? Well, haunted pools actually would be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Uh, let me know when you want to go to the park. Uh, I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really got a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to warm up with a little demon tower. Okay, yeah, not doing the crawl. Okay. So good. Am I just amassing points in this by in, in any way? or whatever the containers are supposed to be. Even though I, I don't think I can collect this. Oh. I'm gonna go this way. That's more like it. to die ever. Hey, Eric. Uh. So I need to go and do that all over again? Oh, heck with this. I'm getting on with the game. Oh, yes, I'm surrendering, real, surrendering to the horror. Hugs, Eric.
Okay, wait, it's sleep time, right? Which means another freaky nightmare. I don't know if they really count as nightmares. Well, yeah, I guess they kind of do. Oh, is that actually starting off where the last one left off? No. I don't think it's <coughs> That's a kind of worrisome image. That various people floating. Huh, I wonder if I was supposed to get on that. Is that supposed to be a silhouette of uh, me or someone else I know? Does that look? Yeah, it looks like Angus. Okay. Have a second. I want to say hello to someone here. Like, these are... Like, these sections are incredibly atmospheric and, and, uh, uh, and even creepy. Uh, I do feel like I... I don't know, it's... It's so easy to get lost, though, that you're just kind of wandering around, getting, you know... Like, I got a, a bit annoyed uh, at one of them for... I had to actually look up where to go. Whoa! Getting any? Where's my little glowy indicator? Okay, that's a third one. But that street lamp, you know, like where the street lamps just kind of go poof. Oh yeah, so, alright, so there, I'm looking in the wrong corner, so I'm supposed to go up in that direction, I guess. I guess. 
flipping uh, rightward and then leftward again works for me. There's a, I didn't realize there's a little visual indicator of how many thing, how many you've, uh, you've, you've done. Uh, no! It looks like I need to, to land on that rooftop. supposed to go back to kind of where the pillars are. Maybe. Not getting any hands here. Now it's saying up. So okay. So then why doesn't it reappear when I get up here? That's the thing that kind of confuses me. Oh, oh there it is. Um, well, let's try. new person.
Scritch, scritch. Still wearing, you know, been in town a week, hasn't changed clothes yet. Ooh, more messages. Last night inspired me for longest night and getting you a live. <coughs> for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever is in the cooler. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Okay, well, that's nice. Changing clothes is an illusion, yeah. <laughs> I mean, either that or, or May just has nothing but the same, you know, she just has a, a eight shirts that all have a, a, a null sign on them. Morning, cat mom. Looking a little happier. Morning, sunshine. Feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Ugh. What did you do last night? I uh, went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy, you really do look a little tired. Getting out makes you feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. Well, I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Alright, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. Oh, no more. Well, we'll get another dose of slam poetry here. Selmers, you were great last night. No, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. Uh, I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? Oh, I, I go to the library. No, but seriously. Huh? Crocodile tears? Is that what that was? Oh. Play a mean banjo. Claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yep! You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willard Garden? Nope. Nah. Hey, you know, he's getting friendlier. You know, none of this, uh, you know, I can legally shoot you stuff.
Yeah, Greg is... Greg is interesting. Uh... Kind of, you can definitely see why why he and May ended up being best friends. Anyone in church? Nope, doesn't look like it. Adventure? Uh, don't you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Aw, oh, yeah! Let's skip work! Uh, only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also, not a crime, sweetie. Yeah, like, May just wants to do crimes. I guess I don't want to do- I want to do crimes. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No. Oh, no. As, as in, we as in my, my friends and I, when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. Probably the end of the map there. This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees around up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So, what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she's just gone. Like, disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Oh, yep. No one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. So, this is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Gone. So, wait. Why are we here? What? You're not up for a little risk-taking? Cat mom is. Uh oh. Ah! What's wrong? I I I thought it was a, a sinkhole thing. Hmm. How about that? Uh. Okay. What is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Well, why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. <laughs> like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then, and not much climbing. Of course, May is gonna do it. So, um, good thing that this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Um, 
awesome springs in most of the valley. What does it look like? Like someone dumped out some blocks. <laughs> Sounds about right. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Huh. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Here's weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. There. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That, that didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! So... It's interesting how, um, so we've gotten hints that, uh, while the relationship between, uh, May and her mom seem pretty friendly, like, like she's the one that, uh, she really gets along with, we've already gotten hints that they've been fighty, uh, so, yeah, I kind of wonder about the tensions in this family. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, up in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real put it pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Huh. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Oh, this little home's still there. Yeah, so I keep I I keep wondering if that sign ever changes. I'm guessing it, does, it doesn't. Man, I sort of want to use this uh, non-denominational symbol for something. to go to B again. Like, I have to admit that, uh, uh I feel like I'm developing a, uh, uh, an interesting relationship with B here over the course of the game. Slightly antagonistic. Hey, B! Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences? Could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. Uh, you're gonna burn this place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I go to jail? No, you'd have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well. Ugh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please, don't actually do it. Okay, fine. You want to go check out the graveyard? Yeah, actually, yeah, let's do it. 
Maybe I should have waited until night to do this. Graveyards aren't as spooky when it's like, you know, two in the afternoon. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. Spooky. I don't know. It's good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Is V never not smoking? Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. Uh, this isn't dumb. Don't, don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. No any ghost stories? Oh, off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Um, things are like monumentally screwed right now. No one in power gives a shit, or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez, I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, sorry. the the real The real horror is capitalism. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. It's frowning. And he's your landlord. This is getting real again. <laughs> That's not... You're late on rent and you can't pay and he's there to evict you. Jeez, B. And he's like, headless, headless landlord, brutally beheaded, now wandering the earth. I friggin' wish. All the things you are afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? I'm watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Is there anything else to interact with? Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? Uh, about, about your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll go check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's go check out a grave or three. Alright. Um, how do I actually do that? Can I jump down here or something? Getting foggier. What's with the red fireflies, too? I'm gonna go back up, see if there's something I'm missing here. Can't jump up onto this ridge. Nice music, by the way. Oh, here we go. There's that symbol again. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. She was born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. Now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you could think of. 
We saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Hey, I was an internet horse. Thinking of being an internet horse again, honestly. Ooh. Aw, oh, dang. Will it like 14 years? That's not enough time. Well, I never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, me. How long does a mom visit take? Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Oh, holy crap. I am a jerk. I'm noticing there's a lot of... Oh, here we go. Hey. Um, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Where are you worried that? You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So, I was worried. Like... You're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? Well, what part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem! Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns at flood, and yet, here we are. Well, okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill, and, like, voices? Huh, that's spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. I assume the top of the hill, meaning where the statue is. Or do they mean some other hill? Uh, I may have been going the wrong way. Ah, that music is cool. Oh, here we go. Can I jump up there? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, this is getting... What's going on here? travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're, they're just weird teens. Oh. Alright, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain? Alright, well, answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Uh, fine, whatever. Get on with it! First question. Have you ever done it? Y you could just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are, at least. Answer! Uh, I'm gonna say no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? I don't even know this. This is when you weren't talking to me. Uh, who? Who'd this happen with? Ugh. You don't know him. It was at math camp. 
Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. <laughs> God. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. Oh, these are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we'd go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, are you gonna wrestle or are you gonna like watch wrestling? Uh, yeah, tempting to answer that. We go to see wrestling. Yeah, they buy us tickets. They? Guy or gal, I'm not picky. And we'd drive out to Hucklesburg and to the convention center. And we'd watch Unstoppable Hayseed versus the Impending Kronk and eat corn dogs. Ugh, I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't want to, I don't watch wrestling. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just, just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> That's it? What were you expecting? Uh, okay, that sucked. You know, you go. Oh, um, God, uh, uh, one time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh, wow, I've been wanting this story for years, and it was awkward, and, and I had to wear a dress, and, and I couldn't slow dance, and he was really nice and stuff, I guess, and I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? Uh, how bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I, like, rushed into the bathroom to get paper towels, so I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth, and I overdo it, and he starts choking and, like, fighting back, and I'm, like, chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I, I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm, like, plowing through all these almonds, and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole is, like slumped against the bathroom wall. I tried to give him, give myself the Heimlich maneuver and it works, but but I puke all over Cole, chicken cordon blue. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet and that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole, pulled him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left. And he was my ride. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow, um, uh, that, yeah, okay. How did he get home? That kid, Josh, rode his tractor to prom, so we're slowly driving to my house. Car is slowing down and honking while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. May, I uh, I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. I'm burdened. Yeah, for real. Okay, let's pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You you may go. God damn it! Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. I mean, might as well descend into the underworld now that we have permission.
Oh, is that just, that's it? I thought there was going to be something on the other side. Oh. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but, yeah. So, you know how you've been, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Oh, have I seen her mom? I don't think so. No, I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts are, like, people? Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes? Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Hmm. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like... <sighs> I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Oh, oh alright. Anyway... So the bad news is that we're locked out by that big-ass gate. Ugh. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, keep people like you out and stop what you're probably going to do. Uh, yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, got to do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. So, Eric, do you know if one of the three stories is the story of that ended up getting um, May into big trouble? You know, like the, uh, the, the where, where she apparently hurt someone, and you know, why why people call her a killer. Um, I'll have to wait to the answer to that. Uh, I gotta run pee.
Okay. Okay, 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 just a second here. I want to take care of a couple things. Uh, I really sh should perhaps avoid having a social media open when I'm, when I'm trying to stream a game. It tends to take my focus off the game just a little bit. Be from, it has to be close. Okay. Ah! Damn it. I wish I weren't so uncoordinated. That's a part that's part of the problem. Ah You probably oh well, I don't know. I, I have so little experience with using game pads that uh, it would probably be worse for me. side anyway. Uh, I wonder if I was supposed to do that differently though. Yeah, I can't interact with it. No way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Hmm, there's gotta be a way to break that gate open. Like, I kind of was thinking maybe you'd, you'd end up figuring out a way to push the tree over. Or maybe get up onto that branch and do it. All right, try this again. Oh, I'm gonna try to break this off. So where's my third spring? Sometimes this May almost killed herself. Uh, I sure hope when we saw that, we're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Uh -huh. You're welcome, by the way. 
Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Lil Joe's grave, and, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Joe Shade. Yep, this is him. Around here is all swampy. Yes? Oh, yes, yes, please. Thank you. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Ah, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts. Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. Hey, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Aw, B, C, B's good. Oh, I can't jump for some reason. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. Haha, <laughs> okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Yeah, okay, there doesn't seem to be much to interact with here. And I can't jump for some reason. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. <laughs> Imagine the big size horse coffin. Imagine. Wait, why? Now I think there's actually something wrong with my controls. Because it's like... Why can't I jump? Yeah, same as ever. Maybe I hurt myself. This is stupid. Well, what were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. It didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Oh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Uh, I can jump again for some reason. Okay, that didn't sound right. Whoa! Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that! About the sinkholes! If we're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that...? Yep, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got... We got more, uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we're, we're not doing this. We are leaving. Are you kind of curious, at least? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. 
So, I get to rob a grave. This is cool. All right. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh. <coughs> so what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We are not. We're like criminal vandals or like grave robbers or something. Those two! We're a lot of things right now. <laughs> Shh. What? So, there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. Could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh. That was a familiar silhouette. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Um, okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, oh shut up. Rah, I saw the fucking ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Hole. Hello, kitten. Are you robbing graves tonight? Hey, Dad. What are you? You okay? Yeah, weird night. Look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went on an adventure today. Ha, huh, yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. I don't know going that way for. All right. Messages. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. That's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? Hey, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. B? What? He was, like, right there. It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out, anyway? It was so foggy. I, I can tell, okay? I, I can feel it. 
Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy, or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. Sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! Dude! Hey, hey, hey! How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost, or... You know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like, fucking nuts, man! Did you see your ghost? I totally did! It must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed off that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job and like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, bruh. Good night as fuck. Uh, do I want to unwind with some demon tower? Oh, wait. Did I hit the wrong key? No. Quite a bit worse than it was. Uh, huh. Lava things are terrible. Help if I didn't forget which key to which.
Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I need to unwind from the game with a game. I'm surrendering to the horror, sorry. Okay. Just a second, people. Wait, did the... Oh, God. Anyway. Time for another nightmare. weird like non moon For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... 
second to go, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is, and they are telling me. And I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now. There is nowhere for God to be hiding. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air. Now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. They are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. Oh, my head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ah! Good God! They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I'm climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. For now, there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. Your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Why am I here? God damn it. Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you. Now I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget, before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What the fuck? Like, there's a couple of ways to read that, I suppose. One is that it, it was a genuine message of some kind, uh, that there is some sort of catastrophe, uh, or it might just be May's fears that everything is vanishing, I mean, her, her home is disappearing, her friends are, aren't really her friends anymore, and, uh, Morning. I had the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later.
Hey, dude. And the old Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh. oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, no, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there, and despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. That's an interesting uh, way of putting it. You're a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscar- oh. After all the miscarriages we'd given up hope, and then th you were there. And here I am now. So, if you're pregnant- I'm not pregnant! I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Uh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... A trash baby? Cordelia! Why don't I just have the baby and hand it over to you? Ooh! Okay, bye. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh yeah, I've already been up to the attic. Um, the, uh, I guess that was in a part you missed. Uh, so, yeah, I've already been in here and through that little, that little, uh, uh portal there. <laughs> Although, I can't imagine anything's changed, but uh, yeah, it's just I don't think there's anything more to see here Yeah, I got the tooth So I've been gravitating towards preferring to hang out with B over Greg uh, when given a choice. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, you know, I've talked a little bit about this. Uh, it feels like you're developing uh, more of a relationship with B. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You, know, you look like you went through the dryer in the wrong setting. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Uh, sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Uh, thank you, Selmers. Oh, they cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chazikov's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh no, he cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He, he has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. It's hot as hell. 
get to talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Bad weather's coming soon. Feeling in my bones. today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it! Come have a look! Oh, got the filter that time without it ag my eyes. That was quick. I think I got one? Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. The, the, the Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Uh, every place is a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful and ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. Yeah, what's up? Delivery. Oh, thank you. It's really sloppy, so please be careful. Alright, thank you. Victoria's was sitting there. Really nice. That was a uh, food delivery. Anyway, so what happened to Cole? He returned home complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. That, hmm. All these seem very pointed towards uh, May's situation. Gotcha! Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. Huh? You know this one? Yeah, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed, journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Uh, yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Oh, yeah, I mean, she probably died. She lived well. She did many amazing things. It's not sad to die having done so much. I guess. It still sucks dying. It is a shame. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. So, yeah, I've... I've heard about this uh, new edition of the game that's coming out, like, pretty soon, actually. In fact, I think 
I got at least one recommendation to say hold off until until then, but uh, I don't know. I was really wanting to get to this. Pretty sweet stars. I mean, I am in agreement. Well, back down to the ground. The music seems to be getting a little, uh, um, I don't know. Hang on a sec. Just wanted a bite of that. I'm gonna go down here again. Fisherman's not there. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone missing? Oh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvey. Huh? Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? I mean, you don't stop there no more. I had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. We'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. Interesting. The plot thickens, so Mulvey is probably some kind of ghost town or some place where something horrible happened. citizens. Um, hmm. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region, you have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. You're not some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. 
Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Oh, dear. Yeah, I knew that was probably going to go south at some point. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was, is, whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Oh. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Yeah. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God? What? Hmm. It was a dream, but God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, was it a desert or the shore? I'm going to be more hopeful. It was like the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see like forever into the sky. and Below it was just sand. As far as I could see. I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this... What, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God just sitting there up on another hill or dune whatever just hanging out yeah seemed like they were really into just hanging out so god is a gigantic cat i mean i'm i'm in favor of this idea did they say anything yeah <laughs> They, like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care. In general, they went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God, then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God is, isn't God. It's just a thing, and it, it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about... This giant hole in the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yeah. I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You've probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years since, well, it's been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I'm going to pause over this question. Because 
I don't know. It's um, it's funny how part of me wants to answer it the way that I would answer it right now, which is that. Uh, but um, if May were me. Uh, like, or sort of like, you know, if I really put myself in May's place, back at her age again, I would probably say that instead. That would be just about the right age. And I kind of want to see how the preacher answers. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times when I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well... I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May, and maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. You can't Tell me whether God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Ooh. It's... It's funny because I, n I now consider myself, in a sense, a religious person, uh, and I've had multiple experiences that I choose to regard as essentially spiritual or mystical experiences, and uh, I work with a number of deities, gods, both traditional ones and you know, entities that uh, you know, who, who have no clear source. Um, but do I believe in any of these things? Like, is there anything that I would actually call religious faith? And I'd have to say, not quite really. There's always some... There's always going to be a materialistic... Part of my mind that's going to say no. You're not de you're not dealing with any entity that has any any sort of independent reality. You are doing something psychological. You're, you know, that basically, uh, um, you know, regarding you know what I think of as spiritual work as just a sort of a, a elaborate means of psyching myself out uh, and. Um, Kind of coming, coming to the realization that that was something that I could do and and still respect as an activity, as opposed to just saying, "Oh, it's all bullshit. You're wasting your time," you know, and, and sort of think, come up with a different a, a definition of utility for for um, for doing spiritual stuff that didn't require the existence of the supernatural. Then uh, I was that kind of cleared the way for me to start doing it again after after a, a, a very short 
period of trying and, and then giving up. The uh, I don't know where I'm going with that exactly, except except to say that it's like, you know, if you were to ask me, you know, do you believe in Loki? Uh, do you believe in Thoth? It's just like I, uh, I, I don't I wouldn't know how to answer that either. Uh, these are entities that I choose to uh, to regard as real and meaningful, but I don't ask anyone else to uh, the same. So, end of aside. Hey, hun, are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today, like there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Sorry I have to work because we have money problems. May, I have always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Aww. Their interplay is so good, even when they're fighting. I'm gonna go visit Bruce. Hope Bruce is out here. Hey! Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure! Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. Don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. I'm gonna hop a train tonight, headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit in my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. I'm gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. I love a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. So it sounds like like it's not true. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It's nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself, Bruce. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this, maybe older than I should ever got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. And I don't like it. I think he's just gonna. I think he's either he's gonna bolt, just run, and without any place to run to, uh, or maybe some worse. church again. Like, okay, I'm, basically, I'm thinking of ratting Bruce out, but I'm, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do.
going to visit B again. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Whatever you want to do. That's cool. I'm busy. And Greg and Angus have my car tonight, so I'm stuck at home anyway. Oh, okay. See what they're up to, maybe. They're going somewhere or other. I'm not. Oof. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Have fun. Alright. So, start the video outpost. Hey, mate. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Clothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Hmm. Well. I hope Angus and Greg haven't had a fight again or something. Oh, I can't go up the stairs. something that can be done there, but... So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table. Nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow, I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Okay. No, no, uh, you know, go Cubs or whatever. Super duper. Oh, sorry. Sup, duder. Hey. Hey, holding up. Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. Uh, uh, and they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Uh, can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. Ah, I'm good. So, what's up? You want to hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Oh my god. <laughs> huh, so this is the thing? This is the thing! It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you, you helped. It kind of smells weird. Anyway, so 
What are we doing tonight? I don't know. Yeah, B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf. Oh, yeah. I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Ooh. Hey, Captain? Donut Wolf? Uh, what? Huh? They got pancakes now. Oh no! Fine. That's not good. Ride the chariot! To Donut Hell! Ow! God. And that's all the people I've kissed. Okay. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like, your average is any better. Angus? You've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus. Angus, hey. Gonna get them flapjacks, Angus? <sighs> Paging doc, oh. Oh, that was like a static sound. Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. Okay, okay, yes, pancakes. Dude, dude. God damn it! Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf! May! We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. Half a second. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't! It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We're gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys. Why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys? What, May? Just don't yell at May. Ah, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine. Okay, ugh. Oof. Jeez. Look at those woods. This is like... Perfect place to dump a body. It's too tough to. That's tough to find. Good body dumping woods. Could go see if there are any bodies in there. Blech. Can't go that way. Aww, broken heart. Crying. Okay, what can fix a flat tire? Uh, sticks, rocks, leaves, wood, dirt. Maybe I can whittle a wrench out of a log. Wonder if I could, like, train an owl to do owl tricks. No, focus me. So, what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. You could call someone? Uh, do we suddenly carry phones because there's magically signal now in this piece of shit town? Jeez. Okay, well...
Hey, dinguses! What? There's a spare tire back here. Oh, nice! That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Hey, jeez. Too bad you didn't partially get eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs and then die from drugs. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't know D and die from it. Okay, are you two done? I mean... <laughs> Finally here! Yep. Yeah, I mean, that is true. Oh, yeah! That wolf of the donut. Ow! Yep. Welcome to Donut Wolf, the home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pan. Cakes with special howlin' mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen go-nuts. Dude, we should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes. Actually, we are out of slammer cakes. What? How can you be out of slammer cakes? It's like... Half the reason to come here! Dude, just pick something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Like, they can always get three of each. This doesn't seem like it should be that difficult a thing. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. Alright, alright. I'll take... Six doom nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, man. Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of a hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess. Whatever. Um, yeah, let's eat here. Fine. I'm gonna go find a seat. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. Hmm. This isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm going to break something. Some... Uh, okay. Yeah, I can dig this as a mini game. Okay, fine, that was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. 
Since when? What are you even doing in here? I'm getting you! I can find my way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... Oh, God. Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. Yes? Alright. Well, I do now. Uh, we have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right? Okay. Yeah, like, that was pretty fucking antisocial of her. Like, I guess that's just May's coping mechanism when she's riled up about something. She just wants to she just smashes things. Uh, there's no place else to go. So, how are you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know, all this stuff that's been happening. Ghosts and stuff. Yep, that's pretty new. Hey, Angus, how'd you get B's car for the night? She was going to a party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. Well, this is something. Let's just eat. Yes, please, let's eat. Woohoo! So... So, what... May, I guess May coming in and suggesting doing something and made Greg completely forgot that they were supposed to go on a date or that he was supposed to go on a date with, uh, with Angus. Oh God, if God even exists, these donuts, you're not religious, right Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? Yeah, let's, there's like an Arabras donut and, a, and then the Pentacle donut. No. So, how's our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is. Pretty great. Yep. Greg, you're awful quiet. Go feeding. We never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Donut sick already. Smells. Dude. Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Jeez. Ugh, feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude. We're trying to get out of here, both working our asses off, and you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones! And, like, stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones! Messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. <laughs> What's that groaning sound? Or is that a farting sound? Oh, cripes. Oh, sweet cripes, I'm falling into the sky. Wow. Ugh. 
It's all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. You okay, me? Yeah, no. Ugh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I'm really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Um, so... Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm, out past Brittle, out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me and it made me spend like a month there in the summer. And I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are nice. I got to pet one once. Sheep are real dumb is what they are. One afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen and for some reason I opened the gate. Why? I got no idea. Kids are like sheep. Real dumb. They so are. So, a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted, and I chased after, being all, You dumbass sheep! You tried, bug. They ran across the field and into the woods, and there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh, oh no. What happened? Before I got splattered by a semi-truck, some ran back up the hill, but three made it over the median and across the other side, and they just stopped and I got to the bottom of the hill by the road which was like covered in sheep guts and parts and we just looked at each other across the interstate he waved in my hands two ran back got hit by another truck oh god but the other one he ran down the hill on the other side into the woods and no one ever saw him again jeez dude Hey, your tattoo! Yeah. Ha, <laughs> sleuth the meaning. That's awful for you. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. I, I like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit... No one even denies it. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. Well, I'm here. You already left once. But I'm... back? I, I can't stay. We can't stay. I, I guess. I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. We have a plan, and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, yeah, two guys, full-time, minimum wage. I, I have to grow up a bit. I, I did grow up a bit. May. You have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. But that's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? <laughs> yeah! Fireworks. Student council poster. Just whoosh. God, that was a good night. Soap from the sprinklers running through the parking lot, laughing our asses off. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, that was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends forever. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. Ah, stop apologizing, Angus. Well, I'm sorry, too. That's cool. And I have an idea. 
Oh yeah? Yep, for one more big crime. You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I, uh... Okay. Ah, oh, Captain. Captain Criminal. Let's go. Oh, and the the, <laughs> the sun is involved. So, and that was, God, that, that was definitely bittersweet, although I guess you can kind of see it coming. It's like, May, co May coming back to town, what I was, what I was saying in a, at an earlier time about how, uh, how Greg was seemed to be the most, or the least changed from his time uh, when when May knew him. That yes, he he had changed, but I guess the idea that he wasn't changing fast enough, or he could still be uh, like basically May shows up and it's like yeah yeah let's be wild again let's be crazy yeah that that he. That uh, Greg is still too easy to uh, to tempt with with uh, with petty larceny and stuff like that. Half a sec. Okay. Uh, da, da. Oops, wrong one. Da, da. Oof. This thing is really gonna freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. I'll never know what it is or how it got here. Um, you guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Hmm. Yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice. Decent, Captain. <laughs> Alright, well. Moving on. Yep. Goodbye. I hope something happens to it just now. Ah! Oh. Well, presumably that was. Uh, presumably they meant it to do that. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So, what's going on? I don't think I could talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where do you even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen, and I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What is even my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but, like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with Mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. But I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I can hold down a job. And How am I ever going to survive? And, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? 
Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Yay, it's more of that terrible show! Boy! Garbo! Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! <laughs> Why, Garbo? You think someone's up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at all this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks! Can't have a church without potlucks! You could, boy, but it would be... A WAPA! <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead! Wow, that was great! Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Okay. Nightmares are better than that. Hey, hey, B. Yep. Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. A little, little sick donut wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good. How can I be so good and, like, so mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked, and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm too sleepy to try to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Hey, man. Hey, man. Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be past that part? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know. <laughs> Night, duder. Night. <sighs> Well, sleep again, I guess. Nightmares, that is. Guess the cat was right. <laughs> Come pick your fight, give arrows flight, you mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Hey kid, snack falconing, work, work, work. Till I die, I die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. Add it, me. You know the drill. It's been years since I got back and saw this again. Good. 
Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Well, sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun. I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house, and I'm just, I'm just so sorry. You, we, wouldn't be in the situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. Hey, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together, regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't, I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon, please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I keep the really good prescription headache medicines on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. So it's just like, you know, Mom, Mom's offering the, the, the Vicodin pills. Or half of pills, rather. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Well, definitely. The arm belonged to a middle-aged man of medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa! That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. A ghost? There wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Well, whoops. God, I, I want to go on with this, but I'm also feeling kind of like like I need to lie down. Um, so. This is kind of a short notice, I know, but I think I'm actually going to stop streaming for a little bit and then come back to this. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping I feel better after a, after a nap or something like that. Anyway, um, uh, I'll just save it here, and uh, I'll um, see you in, uh, in an hour or two, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, thanks everyone for, for watching. Uh, this is, whoop, this is Kara Dreamer, signing off for now.